Hello guys, so today I'm going to do the part 3 of this second exercise which will be on this part still design I have uh, jumped to the point 2.6 on global analysis I will explain later why I jumped this step so now let's focus here okay I will follow all these steps let's do it let's go to start steel design steel aluminium design now let's define the groups over here in this box look a group is just a series of bars which will have the same cross-section. I'm going to create two groups. One for columns, as you may see here, and another one for all of the beams. Let me just do this. Go to display, mark with colors, section legend by colors okay you may see now this yellow it is this cross section I'm going to push this over here now I'm going to define the groups create a new group the member list will be this 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 one here and also this one here the name will be columns and this will be the material okay save now another group with all of the beams okay 10 to 15 will be beams now I'm going to save now I'm going to make the design I want the code group design 1 and 2 the groups that I have defined here I, j I only want as they ask the load cases for 1, 2 three and I don't want I don't need to save the calculation results I'm going to run the calculation here I have this window which I'm going to push down here and here I have my results as they say as they claim here for the group of columns the best cross-section it's a age EA 240 and for the beams it is this one notice that I have this one for all the structural elements I have this one here AGA 300 so if I press this button over here watch what happens if I, ch if I, if I press change all all the cross section are going to change with respect to this cross section which I have over here for this result which is the best one so now as I have changed the cross section the results are of course as you may see down here out of date because the stiffness of the structure have changed so now I need to run the calculations once again now I have the results available and I'm going to run the calculation, the steel design once again. And once again, the cross section have changed as you may see here, at least the cross section of the columns. So I'm going to also here change all. Okay. Run the calculations once again. Once again, run the calculations also here another difference cross section change all once again okay I'll need to do this until the results are the same calculate here calculations here no they are not the same as you may see here I'm going to change all once again run the calculations once again run the calculation once again here no they're not the same change all yes run the calculations once again and now they will be equal as you may see this is the one that I'm doing now 
this one is the previous one and they are equal so now I can stop with this iterative process let's say now I can go back here to the member verification and select all and run the calculations and this list will appear and as you may see all the cross sections are okay all the cross sections are okay and the highest ratio that I have is this one here in this in this uh, beam the beam 13 and the ratio is equal to 0 0.89 according to this French regulation okay now I can close this now why did I jump the step 2.6 because you only can do global analysis after you make the steel design otherwise the results that you would get here will not be the results that you want will not be let's say updated so in the next movie and the, the final movie on this exercise I'm going to make the global analysis and the final step which will be this printout composition okay so thank you for watching